Happy Friday, everyone. God bless you today. It is time once again for our morning prayer and devotion. My apologies for coming to you about five minutes late here. I just had some uh, technical issues with just my computer not wanting to wake up as quickly as I did this morning. So um, that's put me a little bit behind here. But I do uh, thank God for this opportunity to share God's word with you this morning and to share um, the needs uh, with the team that we need to be praying about again today. We do have a praise report on Christian's friend Ann with improving kidney numbers. We thank the Lord for that. And uh, speaking of Kristen, uh, they are traveling today, so she asked for our prayers for them. Also, missionary Jerry McLean and Brother Matt are traveling and speaking at seminars in Africa. Uh, this is also a request uh, submitted by Sister Kristen. Uh, do remember all of our global missionaries in your prayers, as well as our Missouri and North American missions pastors and our metro missionaries in different areas of the country. Um, pray especially for Brother and Sister Cluster, who are coming into the Missouri District uh, on Tuesday of this next week, praying for God's blessing and favor upon their travel throughout the Missouri District. Uh, pray for believers who are being persecuted in various nations around the world and pray for open doors for the gospel um, today. And we need to pray for uh, many spiritual and family needs today. We have some battling depression. Uh, we have Belinda with several needs on our list that we continue to pray about. Um, Jeffrey, Stephanie, Annette, Dave, Ashley, Linda, Johnny, and Gracie uh, all needing our continued prayers. Uh, praying for our Job Corps students and our Mingo RCF residents. Uh, our Job Corps students, many of them uh, traveling right now uh, with fire crews out west. Uh, they have three crews um, that they are participating in right now and another uh, support crew uh, that is leaving on Monday. So some of our students are involved in that, uh, that go to church here. So let's pray God's protection for them as these trips typically last two to three weeks. Um, we need to pray for Rose Brown's family for salvation, Johnny Nelson's nieces and nephews, many of them in need of salvation, praying for prodigals to return to the Lord, uh, also praying for those battling addictions and several families remain in our hearts today. Uh, Mark and Jenny Perkins adjusting to uh, changing job situations. Um, the Cummins family dealing with a lot of family situations. The Joneses uh, also needing prayers for traveling mercies um, over this weekend. And we need to pray for, um, for um, their family as they have uh, some children who are away from the Lord as well. The Marlins, the Moors, the Pulliams, the Biddick family. Let's keep praying for them. Pray for Shirley who battles suicidal thoughts. Our military families uh, need our continued uplifting, praying peace for Israel and Ukraine, praying for our nation today. We're praying for peace and comfort for the Hell family who lost their father this past weekend and need our, um, our prayers today as they face this difficult season. Uh, those who are nursing homes, Let's lift them up to the Lord again to other long-term care facilities, unspoken needs uh, for Brianna, um, Johnny's brother, Alan, Johnny's niece, Jessica, Johnny's mother, uh, who is in a nursing home where there's been a COVID outbreak over the past week. Um, we need to pray for Judy Johnson's family. Also, Belinda has urgent unspoken needs. Uh, we're praying for many physical needs as well, Betty Cossey with a poor result on thyroid ultrasound and being sent to a thyroid specialist now to deal with nodules and assist on her thyroid. Anthony Williams is gonna be having gastric bypass surgery later this month. Uh, we continue praying for Sister Judy's mother who's been sick with the virus and all those who have been in the hospital recently, Caroline, Beth Paris, Sister McDougal, Tammy Ryan, Laura Heppy, and a uh, little girl, Ocean, a one-year-old who's been in the hospital with COVID. Uh, Barbie Davis in the hospital with liver failure. Also praying for 
Sherry, who needs a liver transplant, and my mother, who has critically high ammonia levels, being treated medically, but uh, ultimately, it looks like that she would need a liver transplant. So uh, this is a major, major situation uh, for her and for our family. So we need to pray for God to move in this situation. Those with kidney problems, let's keep praying for them. Some on dialysis, uh, some in advanced stage kidney failure, and Olivia uh, needing a kidney transplant. Also praying for those with chronic lung issues, heart problems, diabetes, those who suffer with illness. We're praying for Tracy, among those who battle this disease, needing her home to sell so that she can be closer to her place of employment. Pray for those with stomach problems. Uh, lift up Russ, Beulah, Tim, Matt, and my dad, all with Parkinson's disease. Uh, Melana Cummins' mother with dementia and uh, not doing well currently. Uh, Vivian C. Um, Kristen mentioned needing prayer for Mom C. yesterday um, and said she was already regaining strength, but she was having a difficult morning. Kristen's friend's dad, Johnny Nelson's mom, all suffering with dementia. Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, with memory deterioration. Several with migraine headaches and mobility problems, arthritis and back pain. Let's keep covering them with our prayers. Also, those recovering from recent surgeries and those in need of strength for continued recovery as they go through rehab uh, and physical therapy and occupational therapy, that kind of thing, to regain their strength. Uh, several children were praying for. Weston Murphy with a recent accident. Uh, and sustaining injury to his face. He's in Children's Hospital in St. Louis. Others were praying for on our list of children, Brantley, Elsie, Jaden, uh, Darla's granddaughter, Tammy's granddaughter, Abram and Abel, and also praying for many on our list today who are battling cancer, and we want to keep lifting them up to the Lord in our prayers. Uh, Reverend Paul Mooney uh, is in hospice care due to heart complications. Mr. Jennings has been on hospice care for uh, quite a while now. Ms. Patterson added to this list uh, recently due to kidney failure being placed on hospice care. And other health needs we're praying about, Johnny Nelson, Devin Huff, George Tibbs, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Judy Williams' brother, Cheryl Ogden, Robin Tibbs, and who we mentioned in our praise reports today with improving Kidney numbers, we thank God for that. Pat Wilson, Robbie, Randy Reeves, Venus, Clay, Eddie Potts, Lois Link, Johnny's cousin Michael, uh, Venus's brother in law Matthew, uh, Sue Helton Morris, Carl Metcalf, uh, Kristen's uncle Lonnie, Terry Nelson's sister Cindy, and Carmen's cousin Meredith. Let's continue to lift each of these up to the Lord in our prayers this morning. Good morning to all of you. Thank you for um, for just being there each and every day. What a blessing you are. Please keep me in your prayers. I've got several things uh, just weighing on my mind this morning, things that uh, some things I have no control over, but um, I need God to give me direction in and um, for there to be movement in some situations that I'm currently uh, praying about weighing on my mind. Also, uh, was contacted yesterday by a person who um, I don't know well, but know the family well, and um, has visited our church in the past, does not live in our area, but this um, this lady contacted me asking for prayer and asking for direction to try to find a home church in her area. She's wanting to uh, get back to God, so pray for her and for her family, many issues there that they are dealing with, and and uh, they definitely need God uh, in their lives today. So pray for that family, uh, adding that to your unspoken needs this morning. If you have a prayer need, go ahead and post that right now. And the team, most of us will probably see that uh, even as we are broadcasting here. Uh, Pam updates us on Laura, saying that she's home but does need continued prayers. Also, she has family members, her son and a friend, uh, traveling out of state who need our prayers for safe travels. Unspoken request for Rebecca, so let's keep her in our prayers along with Belinda. Um, and I'm looking at her needs.
these, it looks here like there's a couple of new ones um, or one new one here that we don't have on the list currently. That's our cousin who's having surgery. So let's remember that. Pat and Terry also on the road today, so several in need of uh, protection as they travel today. Let's go to the word of the Lord this morning. Uh, going to be reading to you uh, a couple of passages of scripture, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, and Romans chapter 3, verse uh, 23 through 26. And you know what? We'll go ahead and read Ephesians chapter 4, or chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. So three portions of scriptures that all fit together this morning. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. That's Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Now Romans 3, verse 23, most of you can quote this, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God to declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Ephesians chapter two, verse four and five. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. You know, God is always pursuing us. Never forget that, that God is pursuing us. Goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives, even when we least deserve it. God uh, is not one who gives up, but he continues to pursue us, to pursue our heart and desire relationship with us in spite of our many shortcomings, flaws, and failures. That's a characteristic that is a hallmark of God's mercy. As this passage told us this morning, the first passage that we read, all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's standard. And that standard and that creates a barrier between us and our perfect holy God. But God in his mercy pursued us. Uh, Jesus took the punishment that we deserve, the punishment of death, and he created a way for us to have eternal life with him. So when we talk about mercy, uh, mercy means simply that we don't get what we deserve. Now, these scriptures also talk about the grace of God that saves us, and grace can be defined as um, receiving what we don't deserve, which is salvation, God's favor. Mercy is when we don't receive what we deserve, which is God's judgment. Um, but it doesn't stop there. God's mercy is not just about providing a way out for us, but it's also God making his way in as he pursues us, as he catches up to us through our situations in life. He's looking for an opening to make his way in. And it is the goodness of God that draws people to repentance. It's his mercy that causes us to love him and gives him a way into our hearts. When Jesus came, it was proclaimed that he was Emmanuel, God with us. And even as God robed in human flesh, in his humanity, he experienced every emotion that we experience. His earthly life is evidence of God's desire to draw near to us, and it's in that nearness that we find God's mercy. Oh, the word says that, that God is near to those who are brokenhearted, near to those who are a contrite in spirit. And so we see situations in our life where we need the mercy of God. And, but I want you to remember that it's not God just bailing us out, but it's God looking for a way in. He wants to have charge of our lives. He wants to put us in his care where we are submitted to him and allow him to help us. Amen. Many, many uh, passages in the uh, word of God talk about, and in the gospel specifically, people uh, crying out to Jesus. They would say, have mercy on us 
A powerful example of this is in Luke 17 when some uh, men with leprosy approached Jesus. Now, for context, leprosy at that time made people untouchable outcasts. According to Levitical law, uh, they were considered ceremonially unclean, meaning that anyone who touched them would also become unclean. But as God incarnate, Jesus is clean. He is pure, holy, and perfect. And here these lepers approached him, crying out for his mercy. Jesus told them to go show themselves to the priest. And as they went, the Bible says, they were healed. They followed the protocol prescribed by the law and obeyed Jesus. And as they went, they were healed. Jesus was not afraid to touch the lepers. Uh, and he essentially here fulfilled the law in reverse. Instead of becoming unclean by touching them, he transferred his holiness to cover their uncleanness. And that's a perfect symbol of what God has done for us. So many people that I encounter, uh, they, they want to live for God, but they say, I'm not good enough. Uh, they have this concept that somehow they can dirty up God. Uh, but God is holy and his character is unchanging. And so it's, it's not the way it is with man that our problems just uh, dirty up other people's lives. But when we bring those things to God, it gives his mercy a way in to our situation. Amen. God is able to cleanse us from every defilement of sin, but he also wants to uh, cleanse our character and he wants to uh, change our nature and give us that new heavenly nature through his spirit. I'm thankful that that happened in my life. And I'm thankful that even in the times that I fell him now, fell him miserably uh, in my attitude and, and at times even in my actions uh, that people can see on the outside. Uh, we all as Christians, uh, none of us are without sin. We have things in our hearts at times that we have to take to the throne of grace. But when we go there, we find that our God is always there in that time of need, and he will continue to cleanse us and to uh, pursue us. And we need to make sure that we are pursuing him and allowing his mercy and inroad into our lives today. Amen. I see another need just added here by Belinda. Let's be praying for this one who has severe back pain, and I'll be adding that to the list uh, today. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you this morning. You've given us such great opportunity throughout this week, Lord, to just declare your praises, to declare your goodness, to encourage one another, and to believe together for answers to our prayers. We're simply following your commands, Lord, to cast all of our cares upon you because we know that you care for us. Hallelujah. Thank you for the promises of your word. Thank you for where you've led us throughout this week. You've helped us. And we give you the praise and the glory. Now, God, we ask you to move in these needs today. Hallelujah, Lord, especially, Lord, for those with spiritual needs today. We pray you'd move in the hearts of men and women and children today, young people. Hallelujah, Lord, those that are traveling today, we pray your protection upon them. We pray, Lord, for uh, the missionaries that are teaching these seminars in Africa. Protect them as they travel throughout that continent, wherever they're at there, and bless their efforts in Jesus' name. Comfort the brokenhearted today. Hallelujah. We need you, Lord, in all situations. Heal the sick today, God, as we have called these names out of so many that are experiencing pain, those who have unspoken needs that we can't even mention their names, those who have life situations that are dragging them down right now. We pray for your encouragement for each one. Hallelujah. Lord, help us today. God, we depend upon you. We depend upon you for healing of every disease today. Those that are battling cancer and those in organ failure of different types. Those battling uh, neurological disorders today. Those with mental health issues. Lord, it matters not to you what the situation is because you're able to do anything. There's nothing that you're backing up from today and trying to figure out how to move. You simply need us to yield to you and trust you. Hallelujah. Have your way today, God. Hallelujah. Help us, God, to carry each of these needs on our hearts throughout the day. Those that are in the hospitals right now, 
We pray, God, that they would improve and be able to be released. We thank you for the reports of these like Laura who are back out of the hospital now. We give you the glory and the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in my life today, in the life of every prayer team member. You see the things that are on our hearts today, the things that weigh on our minds, and you care about those things, as well as the needs of those that we're praying for. I pray, God, that you would just give strength today. Hallelujah. Anointing for our minds today. Give us clarity in things that we are uh, uncertain about today. Give us that sure word, that sure direction today. Hallelujah. Help us, God, to continue to build our lives upon the precepts of your word and upon your character today. I ask you, God, to change me from the inside out. Help me to be more like you today. Help me to represent you, God, in a good way to those around me. In Jesus' name, we pray your blessings upon everyone's services this weekend. We pray, God, that you would just lead and guide uh, the pastors of each church in our area. We pray, God, that you would minister to every congregation. Let there be new people there to receive your word. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for revival in this region of southeast Missouri and, and in Wisconsin, in Tennessee, everywhere that our prayer warriors are today. God, we're praying, Lord, that you would move through them, Lord, to facilitate a great move of your spirit in their church, in their community. For these things, we give you praise. We give you all glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, a prayer team. I know that's an abbreviated uh, prayer. Uh, I try to call as many of the names and situations out as we can. Uh, but this full list will be posted uh, for you to be looking over and uh, lifting up these needs to the Lord as you remain in a spirit of prayer uh, throughout the day and over the weekend. God bless you. Have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday at 7.45 a.m.